Uh, good evening, everyone. It is uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, welcome. Call uh, business to order this evening of the Santa Barbara Airport Commission. Um, may I ask for roll call? Here. 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 Um, at the beginning of the meeting, any member of the public may address the Airport Commission on any subject matter within the jurisdiction of the Airport Commission that is not on the Commission agenda. Uh, total time for public comment is 15 minutes. If you wish to address the Commission under this item, uh, there are requests to speak forms. And uh, do we have any this evening? Not this evening. Thank you. Um, copies of the reports relating to the agenda and items were available for public review at the Airport Administration Office or at the website. Uh, materials related have been posted duly. We also um, ask that all cell phones be turned off. And um, we move to the notices that were posted duly at August 12th. Also, uh, referring to the minutes of the last meeting, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as recorded. I'll second. All those in improvement of waiving the minutes reading, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? I'd, I'd like to actually change that motion to approve the minutes as opposed to approve waiving the minute reading of the minutes. The mo the, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'd right. make a motion that we waive the reading of the minutes and approve the minutes. As there we go. That's that's what I was hoping. Okay. And I'll second that. Very good. And all those in favor of of said motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstentions. Motion carried. Uh, the consent calendar. Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion, if I may. Um, I'd like to request that item number seven be considered voted on separately from the consent item on the employee of Santa Barbara Bank and Trust, and I will be recusing, yourself? Uh, recusing myself from that uh, consideration. Is there a second to that motion? To you don't need a motion. Need a motion. Just oh, well, you okay. worded it that way, so I wasn't sure. Um, Make a crest, though. I'm not uh, sure how we uh, do. We have to take each one individually now. No, or? just take um, the item item seven separately, and then uh, Commissioner First. Colbert can return to the room, and then you can do the rest of the consent calendar. Why don't we, uh, for convenience, then uh, uh, address number seven now? Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, for efficiency. Item number seven is the operating agreement uh, for Santa Barbara Bank and Trust. Um, are there any comments, questions, queries, quandaries, quibbles, or qualms? Well, I would uh, make a motion that we accept the uh, airport to authorize the uh, lease agreement with Santa Barbara uh, Bank and Trust for the ATMs in the terminal. And I'll second that. All those in favor of said motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Uh, motion is carried. Mr. Colbert. Yeah. Now it's just like he's on time coming into the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is a... <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I did not say that. Mr. Colbert is that. just uh, arriving. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get you out of the room somehow. <laughs> now, in reference to the consent calendar on the lease agreements, the remaining items, um, are there any questions on any individual items on the consent calendar? All those in favor of approving the consent calendar signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carried. Uh, for the liaison reports, we have Mr. Aceves with us this evening from the fine city of Goleta. And because our podium went over to the new terminal. 
This is pretty fancy. <laughs> I kind of like this. Yes, you look yeah. like Andy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so I get about 15 minutes to it? <laughs> right there. Um, good evening, uh, Chair Martin and members of the Commission. I'm sorry I missed the last couple of meetings. There's quite a bit of activity going on, and but uh, I'm here on a, on a very important night. Mm -hmm. I want to congratulate uh, you and the Commission and staff. I guess the first plane comes in at 940 to the new terminal. Uh, you guys did a great job bringing this project forward. And uh, I got to tell you, from the city of Goleta, we are extremely pleased because hopefully this will mean additional revenue for us as uh, more, and people more and more people find what a nice uh, terminal to fly into and, and out of. In fact, I have the pleasure of using it uh, next month to go to a meeting. So I'll come back and report how that turned out for you. Good. <laughs> Uh, as far as things happening in the city of Goleta, we've been very busy. Um, last night we moved forward on trying to develop a, uh, or create a development agreement with, um, on a new convention center. And it'll be there at the, at the corner of Stork and Hollister. Uh, Hilton Hotels is the company that's, uh, that's going to be there if we build this uh, hotel. But uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a lot of people in the future to come and use the hotel coming through your airport. So, um, and then tomorrow night we have our second of three meetings dealing with Bishop Ranch. Mm -hmm. So that'll come for a final vote before council on September 20th. Again, congratulations. I will not be here at 940, but I'll watch it on the, uh, on the 11 o'clock news. How about that? <laughs> so I guess you won't be here at 545 in the morning for the first departure, huh? I can guarantee you I won't be here at 540. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, liaison report. And I don't believe we have the Santa Barbara liaison this evening. Not this evening. So um, may we progress to the director's report, please? Okay. Well, glad to see such an audience. I don't know if the terminal opening has anything to do with that, but we could do that every month, huh? <laughs> well, you were on television this evening, so oh, that, I was? that oh. inspires people to come and, and see you in, in the flesh proverbially. <laughs> Great. Am I supposed no, it's not. Okay. Um, our passenger count for um, July uh, was down 8.8% compared to July of last year, and uh, year to date we're down 3.4%. Uh, and as you know, we've lost some service over the last year, which equates into seats. And um, I did a quick little uh, tabulation of kind of what our um, load factor is in general. And it's close to 80%, so that's getting kind of high. I would think that we're probably losing some passengers who are trying to fly, you know, would like to fly during kind of our most popular times, and the airplanes are full. So hopefully as the economy eases up or gets back on track or whatever it's going to do, um, we'll start seeing, you know, people uh, wanting to travel more as well as the airlines wanting to expand service more. But in the meantime, we'll just have to be patient. Um, see, the only other thing, oh, the other thing I wanted to point out was that we had our um, accessibility uh, tour uh, this last, or this week, mm -hmm. and it was very successful. I think we had over 250 seniors and um, citizens with, you know, accessible interests in, in coming through the terminal. Um, how many tour groups did we have? I think we had like seven uh, tour groups during the, the day, and it was people were very excited, uh, seemed to really enjoy the new terminal, and uh, so I was glad we were able to get that done since we had to defer it um, in June. So that was good. Um, as you know, the terminal uh, will open tonight at um, 940 will be the first uh, arrivals and be followed by, um, I think we have six arrivals after 940 and on, and then those, of course, are the airplanes that leave first in the morning. So, and at 545, our first departure leaves. So we will be there both for the <laughs> departures as well as the arrivals. <laughs> you your sleeping bags? Is I yeah. can't say what how I'll look in the morning but <laughs> <laughs> I will be there and there will be coffee <laughs> 
Um, so we're quite excited. The con contractor has been really hustling to, you know, get us to this point, and um, our staff as well, trying to get the terminal kind of cleaned up and, and ready for uh, passengers. So, and the airlines had all of their ticket counters kind of ripped apart trying to put in all their IT stuff. So um, I'm sure they'll be ready in the morning uh, for their departures. <laughs> so those of you that are going to go over with us after, um, it's going to be quite an experience. We have um, wine glasses from the gala and one in a bag that we'll give to offer to each of the passengers and a few uh, little bags with both also wood airplanes for uh, kids so it would be our little welcome and in the morning uh, the restaurant is providing uh, free coffee and rolls or muffins I guess uh, for the passengers that are leaving on the first flights in the morning hmm. so that would be good um, I think that was all oh the master plan was another thing I wanted to bring up as you all know um, Congress um, kind of got themselves in a dither over, um, well, a lot of things, but. <laughs> <laughs> FAA funding, and, um, and as you know, 4,000 uh, FAA employees were furloughed, and finally they got, Congress got it together and uh, approved some stopgap funding uh, or measure to fund until September 16th. Um, so we're, uh, we've got the grant offer from the FAA and so we're moving forward with that. And that is related to the master plan in that, in that grant, uh, is, are the funds for, uh, our master plan. So finally, Hazel will have something to do. <laughs> <laughs> we've been looking for a project for her. <laughs> um, um, right, exactly. <laughs> You may rue the day that we started that. Mm -hmm. Also for the public uh, to know, that means that we won't be using the reserve at this time. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. And that's a valuable piece of information because some people were aware that that may have come into play. So um, I did also have one other comment or question for you when you were speaking about passenger count and percentages for the month. but. The year looks much better, and I believe was that 1.8 percent down for the year. Um, three point. Was it three? Uh, for, forgive me. Uh, four. We were down. Which I think is a valuable comparative. Right. Um, if the month of July looks a little worse than than the year to date. Right. Correct. But I think what's really hitting us now are the the um, flights that were the airline the service we lost is finally catching up with us and um, one of the biggest hits was to Horizon who as you know uh, last year canceled the um, Sacramento flight so those are kind of hitting us um, at this point mm -hmm. thank you um, I did want to congratulate the staff because um, this is a monumental day and uh, historic day and one of pride um, and let it be said to the staff who has done 99 percent of everything and we just look pretty here so um i did want to say officially congratulations on on fine work in every aspect well thank you thank you second <laughs> <laughs> we're just full of emotions this evening <laughs> um and that was the only the items that I was going to point out. So if you have other items on the uh, director's report that you'd like me to speak to, I'd be happy to. I'm sure I share with the rest of the commission that it's nice to have something for Hazel to do now as well. <laughs> <laughs> Keep her out of trouble. <laughs> I'd just like to comment on an article that was in the Santa Barbara News Press, I think within the last week, maybe Sunday, that you scripted, I think, uh, about what is happening with our airlines and why they're not here and how what we're trying to do and I thought it was right. very very to point on point because I know that we are all asked why don't we have more airlines why don't we have more planes etc right. and uh, it was timely so thank you well Good. done I was uh, very pleased that the reporter um, chose to uh, publish the information that I provided her and 
I because we I mean just in the last week I've gotten a number of uh, inquiries about why we lost uh, Salt Lake City and what was the other and one and Las Vegas, and Las Vegas. Uh, one uh, woman told me she was very mad at me because we lost um, Salt Lake City and so I really wanted to explain to her that it wasn't you know something that uh, I chose and never would have chosen so anyway so I was glad that they published that information thanks and anyone that has not seen that article can go to the website and see it in totality it was a well-written and crafted article so okay. you you are now a writer for the news press no, I thought the reporter did a good job <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a motion go ahead I would like to move that we adjourn. Thank you. I'll second that. All those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. And we <laughs> should move to the new terminal. Indeed. <laughs> Immediately. Uh, meeting is adjourned. Sweet.